Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now today, picking up where we left off here in Aberration. Figured we'd start out, I saw this drop, and we definitely need... We definitely need this. A comp... I... Seriously, why do I even bother? Uh, <laughs> we're picking up here in Aberration. Well, that was a horrible place to start. We need to just head back to base. Uh, I thought that would be something, hopefully, interesting. But not at all. Alright, so I had a bit of a mishap on the way back. Our Ravenger did not make it back with me. Well, well, actually, I didn't make it back either. We ended up way too far away from base, and he ended up getting eaten by another Ravenger. I accidentally took out my weight one, so I kind of set him up for failure. I was kind of wondering why I wasn't killing things very quickly and realized that I took out the, like, level 10 tame or something that I had, so kind of sad, but, you know, we can replace him pretty easily. So what I'm working on now is I want to get this area around this elemental thing like sectioned off I wanna when we start to make I'm getting ahead of myself but when we start to build like our new like main base area I want it to be right here so I want to build around this I want to have it all sectioned off with stone and whatnot so we're ready but uh, that spot is not gonna be good it's not flat enough for me to put down foundations and stuff so this is flat enough for me to get a decent one down so look at this I think it'll be really cool if this is in the middle of our crafting room so that's what I'm working for. I want to get this correctly like laid out though. Because I'll convert it over to metal before we eventually do anything with it. But I was playing around with it. Alright, please. Don't get mad. I just want this tree. Please, don't. Level 48. Oh, that's weird. Oh, actually, the dino levels were messed up for a little bit. They're all fixed now. Things are spawning in increments of 5. This is the server that uh, Netrato has given to us. So... If you want to join, definitely check out the link in the description below. This is how I'm loving the map. I'm loving the server. Everything's running really well here, so I'm really glad. We've got a lot of people playing, and they seem to be struggling uh, just as much as I am. I've been losing quite a few things, but it's kind of hard to survive. Anyway, this is not lined up at all. Seriously, I just did this all, and it's not even lined up. And it's not even something that I can live with, I don't think. Like, this isn't even, like, a subtle... A subtle mishap that's like totally not lined up at all dang yeah we're gonna have to play around with this a little bit i want it to be perfect and i want this to be like in the center of our crafting area so if we need to make element or whatever that this is pretty much what this thing does you can make element and stuff when you get further on in the game we'll just be able to do it and i'm trying to think of the the end game here so this will be very very cool to have i'm gonna move these around a bit Alright, I think I did get it lined up a little bit better, but I don't know. We'll kind of see when I've got these ramps in. So, I did ramps kind of on this. I just kind of wanted to see how this would all work together. But I think we'll be able to incorporate this really well into the base. Okay, let's see here. I got them all. Oh, I think it's still off. No. No. Yeah, it's still too far off. Alright, here we go. I hope this is it, because I really don't want to do this again. But, you know, it's going to be nice when we come back and we go to switch it all over to metal. It's just going to be nicely lined up. So, let's get all these ramps here. This is just how you would block off, like, obelisk platforms or whatever. So, I don't know. This is going to be awesome, I think. Is this lined up? That's pretty good. It might be like a little bit further on this side, but it's pretty well lined up. And you're not going to be able to tell when it's all built into the middle of the base. This will be like the center of the crafting area. It's going to be awesome. Alright, we need so much hide. And I actually found out, for some reason, it seems like these just don't gather hide from certain dinos. So I said in one of the last videos that they weren't gathering it at all, but it seems like they do. But we need to go out. We need to get a ton of it. Oh my gosh. I thought this would be a lot easier than it is. Now, you don't get the, like, bleed effect from these guys after they're tamed, I've noticed. So, I was trying to figure out what, like, what button or whatever it was to, like, get that attack. Where they cause you to bleed uncontrollably and it wrecks us players if you're out and get attacked by these. But there's no button to do it. So, I guess... Only ta or uh, sorry, only wild ones can do that. Now, what we need to do is we need to get a new stego. We lost our stego pretty much close to after 
we tamed it. People were making fun of me because it was just a black stego and it wasn't like glowing or anything special. So good riddance, I guess. We'll find a, a better one. And we also need to get a couple other kibble things. As for the stego, we do want a basic one just for berries and for other stuff, but it's not going to be too big of a deal now. Um, I really want to get a roll rat, and I believe that those things gather berries. So that's going to be our main objective. I'm trying to explore out a little bit, but I think we're going to head down a level, actually. So we'll take the elevator down, head out, go get a bunch of hide, and chitin. Chitin is, like, really an issue. Because we need cementing paste. And the only way that I see of getting it is either to tame a snail, which I don't know how to get sap, or to actually... I, I can't believe I'm saying this. Make cementing paste. Like, can you... Can you remember the last time we've actually made cementing paste for metal? I can't. Because it's either been beaver dams, or snails, or the frog. You know, there's so many ways to get it, and those are just not viable here. Are there... Are there aberrant frogs? We need an aberrant frog. Anyway, we're heading out. Wish us luck. Hopefully I don't lose our last Ravenger. Okay, so I'm pretty excited. I was actually seeing if I could climb that cliff, but I can't. That's not what I'm excited about. I'm excited because I found some pearls. So we've got some pearls, and that means we can get a generator so we need to start working towards a generator and a couple turrets to at least cover our base you know the basics also I don't know if we can find plant species X or something on this map it's something that I really need to start growing I know there's no rain oh god these piranhas are they're something they look crazy I'm gonna have to take them out before I get in there they look so cool though in their aberrant form, everything looks way cooler, but I mean, where are you going? I need to kill this because the second I get off my Ravenger to pick up pearls, you know, he's going to turn around and attack me. Oh, dude, what are these things? I just killed them. Aberrant otter? Oh, they're mad. Oh my god, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. All right, probably, all right, I'm probably over-exaggerating, but look at this thing. It's mad at me, so we have to kill it, but I wonder if we can find another one of those in here. Anyway, I got to get all these pearls back to base. We're still on our hide run, but at least we can get these. So it looks like if you find water, there's pearls in it. This one is directly below our base, so I guess we can continuously farm it, but, you know, it's not going to give us that much, really. Is there anything dangerous? I think we're good. Let me put this on land, actually. All right, I was out gathering stuff, and I found a 125 Ravenger. We need to go tame this thing up, but check this out. I just love this whole setup and how it works. I mean, I do hate having to go up and down ladders like this, but, you know, it is what it is. That is a rope ladder, by the way, so I just have to like bring it up every time I use it and we're good so I need to send this thing down my Ravenger is below sadly this thing is annoying I know a lot of people were saying yesterday when I posted the video on this elevator that I should put one of those switches like that the top switch down at the bottom you can't you can't do that like that's the point of it it's called the top switch you just can't put it down there and it kind of sucks but it makes sense. It's not running off electricity, so you literally have to go to the top and crank it. If I could put it at the bottom, I would still have to be at the bottom and crank it all the way until it got to the top and then, you know, climb a ladder afterwards. So it's just a trade-off, I guess. A little bit annoying, but maybe one day we can afford metal. All right, there we go. We've got him back. Mission accomplished. All right, we need to head out. I'm going to get the stuff that we need to tame this up. I just need to craft like some trank arrows and stuff. And we're gonna get us a decent Ravager. We're also going to look for a, what is it called, a roll rat? I'm gonna check the area where we're gonna be taming this. And if we can find one of those, well actually we are gonna find one of those. We're taming one up today. It's something that I really wanna get accomplished. And also, we need to expand this base, I think. 
Okay, I was collecting all these pearls a second time, and I just can't pass it up. We need one of these awesome, like, beaver things. I think this is the last prawn. I think we can take it. Okay, no, there's a second piranha. Come here. At least we can feed these to it, I guess. So, I mean... Oh, there's more? What the heck? These are just coming from behind. I just cleared all these out. Anything else? Are we good? I think there was one more, but I'm sure there is. They're so cool looking. And there's, a, like, a fish net or something where you can, like, pick up fish and bring them back with you. I'm wondering if you can do that with piranhas. Or, like, what would you put them in, though, I guess? I don't really know. Alright, let's get this over to this otter. Now, you feed otters like this. You just bring them a fish. Oops. Oops. What the heck? I can't, like... The stupid fish is getting in the way. There we go. There we go. Alright. We definitely need one of these. Like, there's... I mean, they're probably not going to be really that useful to us, but... All this stuff is so new and, like, interesting. Actually... Because this is, like, a server that we can transfer to other ones from, we can, I mean, we can use these on the center map. It gets, it gets cold there. They just basically act as, like, a piece of fur armor. Or a better piece of fur armor to keep you warm and whatnot. Alright, I think this is going to be the last fish that we need. I've cleared out this area. And it's kind of hard to find them. No! No! Ah! Why to do that? I've done that quite a few times, and it's really annoying. Um, that wasn't me at all. Shh. Don't, don't, okay, I can't even. I can't gather it with a sickle. What? It just doesn't work. Okay. Your body lasts forever on this map. It's crazy. But if I oh oh uh oh. If I'm like dying of hunger or something, I'll just make a sleeping bag. <gasps> No way! I mean, I was looking for a fish, but that doesn't really count. We're gonna have to check the level on that. Mole. Is that, am I saying it right? It's a roll rat, right? Roll rat. But it looks like a mole. I want to call it a mole rat, but... Alright, fish. Seriously. He's like a little faster than me, or the same speed as me. Right, we're outsmarting it. You dummy, where are you going? You're, we're trying to escape on land? Alright, let's get some stam back. I think this is the last of the fish that we'll need. The Ravager is like right on the other side of this rock, the 125, so I'm gonna go tame that up. Right after, but I really want one of these little things. Where'd it go? Where are you? Hope I didn't lose it. Okay, here we go, here we go. No! Work! It's so annoying. The fish wants to, like, swim... Why? It just keeps going in front of me. There we go. Alright, let's check this thing out above... On land. Oh, I'm drowning. Hey! Stop it! What the hell are you doing? Alright, we got this. All right, level 20, not a big deal. Can't attack underwater. Alright, let's check this out. I think this one's gonna... Oh, that is so cool. This one is really cool. Look at it. Look, just look at it. I think this map has, like, the cutest things on it, but it's also the most dangerous, which is really weird. There's a little goat... Dude, I think it's called the Shinehorn or something like that. And it's kind of like this tiny goat, and it is like the... I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's just too much for me. Um, oh, wait. I kind of defaulted to just killing this thing because I was out on hide. That's level 100. We need to come back for this. Let's go find us some honey. That's the one. Level 100? I don't know why I was attacking it. My bad, my bad. Okay, before we head back to base and get honey for that thing, I actually decided to kind of lay waste to the trilobites in the area. I really need that cementing paste, and they give some good chitin. Like, this thing gathers really good chitin. And they give pearls as well, so that's nice. What is this? 
Wait, this is like a cave. Let me put some stuff in here. Let's take a look in here. I don't think we're really prepared to like traverse a cave, but is this like actually a legit cave or is it a hole in the wall? No, I think this is actually, this is like near our base too. I hope this has something useful in it, like drops or something, you know? I can't get him in? Oh god. Let's drop him in case I die. You good? Oh, it looks so much cooler in the, like, darkness. I can't wait to, like, get all these back onto, like, not Aberration server too, because they're gonna be so different, you know? It's gonna make things so different. All right, let's go. It is dark in here. I apologize that it's so dark. No, hey! Although you're freaking cute. You gotta stay, dude. What are you thinking? Don't come in here. Well, I guess we can bring otters inside. We can't bring our... Ravenger. We can't be taking him in here. We'll lose him. Instantly. <laughs> But now we just need to breed melee otters and bring them into this cave. We're set to go. I wonder if there's, like, dangerous stuff, though. Dang, I'm sorry that it's, like, really dark. I know it's it's always darker, like, in the video, too. So I, I know that if I'm having trouble seeing, it's probably really hard. But, okay, it's brighter. There's, like, nothing dangerous so far. I feel like we might need these for the caves in this map. It's kind of weird. It's like an inception cave. We're in a cave inside of a cave, right? Inception cave. Oh, an explorer note. Okay. At least this journey meant something. We get some XP. I can't read that. Okay, so there is dangerous stuff down there. I'm assuming it, assuming it probably spawns up here too and it falls. Oh, there's a crab. It just looks like normal dino spawns inside of here. Not like specifically bats and stuff. It's just carnos and crabs and a bunch of stuff. Should we go down? I don't think we should, honestly. The durability on my picks is really low, but this is pretty intense. I figured we'd kind of stroll in here because I, I didn't know what it was, but my durability is just too low to come back. I won't be able to do it. Are you kidding me? What is this crap? Why are these even here? Nobody needs a smithy blueprint. All right. I'm heading back to base. I just did a bunch of reworking of it. I think it's looking nice, to be honest. So I kind of set this project off to the side. We're going to do that once we're a little bit more secure here. We've got... Um, actually, let me see if the metal nodes are here. Nope, metal nodes aren't here. Our honey is, though. Okay, Um, sad. I was hoping we could gather those. So those keep respawning. I'm trying to get them every time. But yeah, I've got two little holders for the bulb dogs. They're just kind of lighting the outside. I don't know. I was just trying to make it a little bit interesting. We still... What the hell is this? Hey! What the heck? Why are there... That thing's wild. There's one upstairs too! Dude, I'm being raided by freaking wild raptors. Can I get them through this? Are you serious? What is this? Alright, let's kill this one upstairs first. I'm so glad I didn't have any dinos inside. Did these spawn in here? Oh my god, it's like the redwood allosaurus all over again. Wow, we need to get that one down, or out from downstairs. He's gonna wreck all my storage and stuff. Close the door. Alright, screw it, we won't close. He's breaking things, dude. We're being raided by a friggin' raptor. What is this? Allosaurus used to spawn in your base in the redwoods all the time. Is this really going to happen again? No!
All right, that was stupid. What is this? This game, he broke my mortar. I can't fit this all. Crap. Okay, I need to, I need to fix this situation. That's that's just just wonderful to come home to. How would you like to come home to that? All right, let's uh, correct this situation. All right, you thought I forgot about this, but I didn't. Actually, I did for a bit, but he was still on this island. It's he's safe. 125 Ravenger. And I'm still going after a roll rat. Roll rat. I keep forgetting the name. I don't know why. Um, his HP looks pretty low compared to like what this guy tamed out with. I don't know. Um, I am looking for a new one. That level 100 one was gone by the time I got back. So that was sad, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, everybody told me to stand next to this thing. It's supposed to give you a seed or something. I don't know, but I've been standing here for a while during the tame, and it's not doing anything. It just kind of looks like a plant to me, but we're going to wait. All right, this thing is not producing. I'm just going to wait on this tame, but I don't know. We'll be right back. I kid you not, I just stopped the recording, and it was just spitting it out as I freaking did it. So here we go. We've got our seed. Plant species Z seed. Cool. All right, so we can grow one of these. I think it keeps the nameless away, which I have yet to see even one of them. People are complaining about dying to them all the time, but I think they're in like a different biome because I'm pretty safe over here. Okay, all tamed up. Fortunately, there are like sheep everywhere. I think cooked mutton's actually better, but I, I was around and there was a sheep, so you know, I just went with this. I don't know, the HP looks pretty low. The stam is like way higher than any of them that I've seen. So I don't know if that's high, but it is definitely the best stat on this one. So let's get this back. Probably should just fill it up with metal, you know, be responsible metal farmers. And we've got a node here. So hold up one sec. I need all the hide I can get. Oh yes. And that chitin. These things, they're really good actually. Let's see here. 80 chitin. Not bad. All right. We'll bear back. Okay, we've got a roll rat up ahead. I've been talking about it all video. Finally, we're getting this thing going. I've got enough metal, I think, to make a saddle, but we need chitin for the saddle, so it's going to be freaking annoying. Or not chitin, we need cementing paste, so chitin, basically. Let me toss this sucker on him. It's a little bit dark. We don't want to lose him. All right, did that, did that tame him? Yes. There we go. See, I couldn't figure out how to do it. It was, it was a passive tame. And usually when you go up to a passive tame, it's just like, feed it, or whatever. So what we have to do is we got to put this in our last inventory. Oh, maybe we can hang out next to this plant. Get us another seed, if we're lucky. Um, but when he goes into the ground, you have to hit your last slot on the hole. So that's what I wasn't getting. It. I thought it would give us a prompt. You know, it says, like, feed honey to blah, 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 to tame or whatever. And... Yeah, it doesn't do that. So you just have to drop it on the hole. This one's cooler looking than the last one, but lower level, 40. But we can definitely test it out. I'm going to keep my eye out for a good one. I think these are going to be really key. Okay, here we go, here we go. Did that work? Yes. Awesome. Yes, this is going to be pretty easy, I think. As long as nothing comes over here and like attacks it, I think we should be good. Okay, all right, all right, all right. This is the last one. Nice, it's done. Such good taming effectiveness with that too. Nice even 60. All right, what are we looking at? 2.1K HP, that's good. Weight isn't as high as I would have hoped. Don't really know how the melee or anything works with this, but there we go. Now we just have to farm up for a saddle. I think that's going to be so annoying. It takes like 450 metal, which really isn't the problem. It's the cementing paste, which it takes like 80 or something. So I'm going to get that, and then we need to take this out and start rolling around. I think that's what it does. All right, here we go. Finally, I've had this thing for so long, and I finally get to actually take it out and try it. I could have probably made the saddle beforehand, but, you know, why would I do that? That doesn't make any kind of sense. Um, 
it took a lot more than I thought. And actually, I've heard this saddle actually has durability. So you can break this saddle if you run into too much stuff. But I don't know. I guess we'll see how much it takes. What should we level? I actually don't know what we're going to level in this. We'll, we'll test it out first, and then we'll see what we want to level. Dude, this is an awesome saddle. One, two, three, three seats. I think there's more, actually. I think you can fit people, like, in the back. I think a total of six is what it is, so... This is awesome. Its turning radius is crap. Oh, my gosh. I'm not driving horribly. That's just how it turns. Okay, so... This is... Intricate. This is, like, an epic saddle. I really like this. This is how all the saddles need to be in this game. So, okay. That is... What is this? Some kind of attack? What is he doing? So that's just some weird attack. His other attack is a bite. I thought he could like roll or something like that. Oh! I wasn't holding it down long enough. That, that first one isn't an attack. It's, it's him charging up for a roll. Oh my god. Oh, a tent! Oh, not a tent anymore. Dude, that is, we just pissed everything off in this line. All right. Let's kill these stegos. Oh, I can't just like straight up roll into them again. I thought I could roll into them. That was insane. You just go through everything. There was somebody's like, somebody had a tent there or something, I guess. But uh, yeah, not anymore. Right, did I make you mad too, Iguanodon? Alright, this is pretty strong for a low-level tame. Like, a, a pretty easy honey tame. Like, let's be real. I mean, the saddle costs a lot, but... Let's light it up. Dang, that was cool. We need to get a really good one of these, or breed them, or just have a million of them. Because this is really cool. So he can't gather wood, but he can gather berries. So, yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't need stegos. Okay, but did this guy take durability? He did. So it did take some durability damage from that. I'm assuming from the rocks and trees. I'm going to go all HP on this, by the way. It is a lower level one, so we'll just make it tanky and leave it at that. So, oh my gosh, this is so cool. You can just board any seat or something. Okay. Anyway, that's where we're going to stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for the support in this series. I'm really liking Aberration. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch you later.